Tehran was talking about the, the protests in Iran, right? The pro the, I, I, listen, I don't know if you, a lot of you guys, first of all, we live in America. I know we have a, a lot of people, some people know, by applause, who's been following the, the protests? There you go. Yeah. And no shame to it by applause. Who kind of knows a little bit? Not a lot, kind of, right? Some of you I know. No, that's fine. I, I told my American friend, I said, there's protests in Iran. He's like, Saddam Hussein is back? I go, no, that's the wrong country. That's Iraq. He goes, oh, when's Saddam coming back? I go, he's dead. We live in America, right? We have other shit on our minds. You know what I'm saying? But the women of Iran have been protesting. For those of you, for the, for, I'll fill you in. There was a 22-year-old woman named Massa Amini. She was walking down the street. Her hair was out of her hijab a little bit. The morality police showed up, arrested her, killed her in the process. But then the people of Iran did not stand for it. So there's protests. It started three months ago, and it's been led by the women of Iran who have been at the forefront. It's amazing. It, it's, it's inspirational. The women and then the young people and the men, they're in the streets every day protesting. And anyone who's got, you know, it made me reflect on my own immigrant mother. Anyone who's got an immigrant mother will tell you, immigrant mothers are really tough. Like, I hadn't even thought about this until, yeah, he's, he agreed. Thank you for agreeing, sir. What, oh, is that, is, is that your, oh, that's your immigrant mother. Oh, fantastic. And where, where, are, you, where are you from? Torrance. Torrance, yeah, but where's your mother from? <laughs> oh, okay, it's so funny. Everyone's like throwing their parents under the bus. I'm here. She's from Iran. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Nima? Nima, there you go. And mom, what's your name? Shala. Shala, you were born in Iran, right? Immigrant moms, I don't care if you're Mexican, Iranian, Chinese, Russian, immigrant moms are tough because they've been through a lot. And Shala, I had to think about this with my own mom. This happened, I forgot about this. This happened after September 11th, all right? Right here in LA, my mom had gone to a Costco. And she's, you know, grown up her whole life, Pete, in Iran, so has a thick Persian accent when she talks, right? So... She went to Costco, she was shopping, and, she, and there was a cart that was in her way, so she moved the cart to get to her product. The lady comes back, goes, who moved my cart? And my mom goes, I did, it was in my way. I had to move it to get to the cereal. And the lady right away says to my mom, she goes, why don't you go back to your country? This is right after September 11th. And my mom goes, this is my country. <laughs> yes. And then, Omar, this is what happened. And then the lady took her own cart, starts walking away, turns to my mom and goes, bitch, yeah, and then when my mom tells the story, she goes, Maz, you know me, I am a lady, I do not use the bad word. So she says, I told the lady, she who says it, is it. I go, damn, mom, that's straight out of kindergarten. I was waiting for her to be like, I am rubber, you are glue. Whatever you say will bounce off me and stick to you, <laughs> bitch. <laughs>